Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here. Wednesday morning. I'm down in area one. 50 degrees out here this morning. A bit on the cool side. Still have the red tide warning. However, I do not smell it. From up here, I don't see any dead fish on the beach. We'll take a closer look. Hopefully, this morning's walk will be better than yesterday's. Horrible. Seeing that dead dolphin yesterday. As of five o'clock yesterday evening, 5 p.m. yesterday, according to the Naples Daily News, there have been 37 dolphins that washed up dead on the beaches of Lee and Collier County. Let's hope that stops. Morning. Our things are looking pretty good. Red tide warning still in effect, but I'm not seeing any dead fish on the beach here. I'm going to turn around and are walking up the beach in a little ways here. Just want to walk down a little further to the south. It's a bit chilly for this Florida boy out here this morning. Ugh. Look at this. Look at this, a huge, huge chunk of worm rock down here. How neat is that? Wow. That is quite a specimen right there. Look at that. That is huge. Worm rock. Wow. I can't fit that in my pocket. Oh, I'm going to turn around and start walking the other way. I'm going to be walking into the wind. Very nippy. 50 degrees right now. So far, so good. No dead fish on the beach. Still wondering why we aren't seeing dead fish with the red tide. Why just dead dolphins washing up on the beach? Apparently the red tide is worse the further out you get. 
That's where the dolphins are coming in from. That's so sad. Put this. I've been carrying this piece of worm rock with me. I want to take that home, but it's obviously too big to carry on my beach walk. I'm gonna put it up here where I came in and pick it up on my way out there. There's the ramp I came out there earlier this morning in area one. Great access here to the park. They have several ramps down to the beach and they do have beach wheelchairs. So this beach is accessible to all. A mile of beach here at Del Norwegens give or take a hundred or so yards, depending on the tides. And there's one dead fish, a mullet. All right, so one dead fish so far. Well, last summer, this beach was covered with dead fish during the red tide. This line of dead fish. happy that's not happening now but I'm curious as to why that's not happening now nothing up at the high tide mark we've had a lot of erosion here a lot of erosion on the beach you see here these are the roots old trees. The beach used to be out here. We used to have pine trees out here. That's the roots. And those roots of those old pine trees have been covered. This is the first time I've ever seen them for as long as I've been coming out here. So Lord, this roots have been covered by sand for decades. And now we've lost the sand and there they are. The beach is just constantly changing. Changing shape, size. And every morning I come out here, it's a little bit different. We have seen some interesting things out here. Some really neat things and some really sad things. Morning. Yesterday, definitely takes the cake for the saddest beach walk of all. Seeing the dead sea turtles on the beach, that was sad. Seeing a dead dolphin on our beach here at Del Norwegens, that is probably the worst thing I've seen here. Let's 
hope that stops. It's going to be interesting to see what they find when they do the necropsies on the dolphins that they recovered. Is it red tide? Is it something else? Everybody's quick to say it's red tide, but could there be something worse now out in our waters? God forbid. Oh, there's a bunch of little shells down here in front of me. All clam shells, it looks like. Boy, that wind is brisk. Woo. Absolute no smell of red tide. None of that intoxicating smell of the red tide. Although we are under a red tide warning. During the summer, you could not come out here. Your eyes would burn, you'd start coughing, choking. None of those symptoms right now. There's a little turkey wing shell down here. Little turkey wing. See a little lightning whelk over here I might grab. See what kind of shape it's in. That's in pretty good shape. It's a nice, just missing a little of the tip there. Little lightning whelk. See another another dead fish up here. Still another dead mullet. Half a mullet. Still, that's the second fish we saw on the beach. Something very strange is going on with this red tide. I'm not complaining by any means. I don't want to see dead fish all over the beach. I'm just curious why we're not though. It's way different than this summer. The beach was lined with dead fish. Every species of fish that we swim along the shore here was out here dead on the beach. Snook, mullet, snapper, sheephead, drum, puffer fish, toad fish. Um, everything. Bat fish. It's crazy. Even grouper. It's horrible this summer. That sun popping up over the trees, starting to light up the beach behind me here. Feels good, get out in the sun. Big difference between being in the shade and being in the sun. The tide is slowly going out here. Give everybody a little update on our friend Roy. 
He had to go into the hospital yesterday. Boy is in the hospital now. I'm getting a whiff, <laughs> excuse me, of that red tide right here. Whew. Definitely could smell it right there. Our friend Roy is in the hospital. He's got possibly an infection. They're pumping him with the antibiotics. He's got very low blood pressure. They did some tests last night. I'll find out, get the results today. So please, please, please keep Roy in your thoughts and prayers. Pass the word on. Thankfully, the beach isn't covered with death this morning. Oh, gee, man, huh? Oh. We the red tide is still there, still lurking out here in the water. Apparently it's worse offshore than close to shore here in North Naples at Del Nor Wiggins. It varies, it's different everywhere you go. The intensity, the level of red tide varies. Every mile it's different. Absolutely beautiful, the sky out here. Beautiful. It is crisp, 50 degrees. No, red tide here does not have anything to do with Lake Okeechobee, folks. Please stop getting everything mixed up and confused. The red tide is different than the blue-green algae. That is far worse, believe it or not, than the red tide. If that blue-green algae was to make it down here, it would be in horrible shape. That has no mercy. Highly toxic to humans as well. Everybody's so quick to point the finger of blame at someone for this red tide and blue-green algae and our water is being so polluted but you need to take that finger and turn it around and point it at yourself because we're the ones that have been polluting the water it's not just the farmers the government isn't polluting the water we're the ones polluting the water the government is the one that's just not putting any control on what we do Time we all start being a little more responsible or it's just going to get worse. Think of that dead dolphin. Think of that dead dolphin every time you go get your oil changed. Huh. So many of those places have shady practices. So many businesses cut corners in disposing of 
toxic chemicals and their garbage just to save a few bucks. No matter how good of a steward you are, you may practice, you know, the best, have the best in in your heart at home, but it, when you go out and you go to a restaurant, are they doing it? It's, you know, you never know. Some roundabout way. You know, we all contribute to this mess. And sometimes not knowingly, not directly knowing. It's just by the people you do business with. There are a lot of conch shells on the beach right here in front of me. I mean, a lot. There's a beautiful big murex shell just washed up on the beach. This is one of the nicest murex shells I have found on this beach. And it just rolled up here in the wave. That is a beautiful apple murex. That is the nicest murex I have found here so far to date. And there are piles of conch shells up here. Sadly, sadly where I'm standing is where the dolphin was yesterday. I'm gonna walk along here and see what else I can find. There are conch shells everywhere. Here's a couple of them just right down here. Here's a nice little Florida fighting conch right there. There's dozens of them all along here. Some really beautiful shells. Lots and lots of pieces of worm rock down here. There's a broken moon shell. Nautica shell, not a, not a moon, a nautica. It's like an old whelk here. Look at that, a old, old lightning whelk's lost all its color. A lot of shells right down here. take my time and look that's the key to shelling is taking your time another murex an apple murex that one's got some nice colors on it I saw a huge worm shell back here and I meant to pick it up and I walked right by it, darn it. Lots of little olive shells down here. Nice little olive shell. It's a nice olive. A lot of little fighting conch shells down here. Darn it. I meant to pick that up. It was a really nice one. I lost track of it. There we go. There's the worm shell. That's a really nice little worm shell there. Nice curly little worm shell. There's the old, an old lightning whelk. Lost all its color. Lots of these on the beach. 
can find a lot of these old shells. There's two old lightning whelks. What else is out here? It's so easy to miss things. The shadows play tricks when you're out here shelling. The best, best thing is just walk slow. A couple moons, a couple moon shells there. Nice ones. Two nice little moon shells. Beauties. Two really nice moon shells right there. Very close to each other. Nice little souvenirs. Here's another one. It's got a little chip in it though. I love those moon shells. Piece of a little, an old crown conch, just a piece of one, darn it. Those are beautiful shells too, the crown conchs. What's behind me here along the water? I'm sure there's gonna be some nice things washing in here. Wow, there's a piece of a big moon shell over here. Look at this. All pitted. Look at that, how it's all pitted. Wow. All these beautiful shells I'm finding this morning. Sadly. Or ironically, they're right up where we saw that poor dolphin yesterday on the beach. The dolphin was just laying right up here. It's actually right over there on the beach. And that was a horrible, horrible, sad sight. That's something I hope we never have to witness again here. I hope it opened a lot of people's eyes up. Another beautiful little olive shell. Lots of little beauties. Ah, a little chip in it. Nice looking olive shell. What else did Mother Nature wash up for us this morning? A nice little whelk. That's a nice little lightning whelk there. Beautiful little lightning whelk. Another nice little worm shell over here too. Nice little wormy. How cool is that? That's a neat little worm shell. A little lightning whelk and a worm shell. Boy, maybe 50 feet of beach here that I've been dilly-dallying in and we found some really nice stuff. Really nice shells. Piles, piles of worm shells down here at my feet. Just piles of them, little worm tips. Wow, I mean piles of them. You could fill a pickle jar with them, there's so many. If you're just tuning in, let everybody know where you're watching from. Also, quick update. I said it earlier, our friend Roy is in the hospital. He had some tests done yesterday. He has low blood pressure and an infection somewhere. They're 
pumping the antibiotics into him. He was also dehydrated. So we'll get the results of the test later today. And I'll pass that on to everyone. Let everybody know how Roy is doing. So please keep him in your thoughts and prayers. Our 93-year-old beach buddy and good friend, Roy. He's still in good spirits, though. Still has a smile on his face. You can't get that smile off of Roy's face. That's a permanent fixture. Ooh, look at this. Oh, darn it. That's a chip. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous scallop shell. Darn it. Got a big chip in the corner, darn it. What a beauty. That would have been a nice little find. A scallop shell that size. Lots of scallops on the beach though here. All different sizes. See that, there's a little one. Beautiful shells, the scallop shells. Just slowly crossing into area four now. We started down in area one, down on the boardwalk on area in area one. Just slowly making our way north. The red tide warning is still in effect, sadly, unfortunately. However, there have, I've only seen two dead fish on the beach. Thank God, no more dead dolphins. Pay attention to the news, though, to see if any more wash up today. Hopefully not. Hopefully that is over. It's so sad seeing those beautiful mammals, those beautiful creatures dead on our beaches. because of us polluting the water you know our parents people just didn't realize in previous generations the devastation they were causing the damage they were doing to the environment Hopefully people are going to start wising up. Hopefully some of these images that have been popping up on Facebook and on the news are getting people's attention. Some people are complaining about the images. You know what? That's too darn bad. If you don't like it, don't look at it, but awareness is the key. You've got to spark the public's interest, catch the public's eye. Believe me, it breaks my heart to have to look at some of those animals. I was eye to eye with that dolphin on the beach yesterday. I saw pictures of it. I saw the real thing. I was eye to eye with that dolphin. I was pretty close to breaking down and crying looking at it. Just imagining the suffering that these poor creatures are going through. Oh, darn it. Here's the top of a horse conch shell. I thought maybe we were going to find a horse conch. It's a tip of a little baby horse conch shell. Half of a little cockle shell over here. A little baby cockle.
Not too many people out enjoying the beach this morning. I don't blame them between the red tide warnings and the cold temperatures. Don't laugh. It's only 50 here, but that's cold for us Floridians. There's half of a sand dollar. I'm in blue jeans, I got my shoes on, got my jacket on. Boy, lots of fighting conks out here this morning, lots of them. These little Florida fighting conch shells, we have seen quite a few of them on the beach this morning. Looks like a piece of an old whelk shell over here. An old lightning whelk. Half of it, just a piece of an old lightning whelk. Beautiful, a beautiful blue sky out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous, look at that. I don't care, this is, <laughs> excuse me. I think I, <coughs> ooh, got a little whiff of that red tide, and I don't care. Still love it out here. Every once in a while you get a little whiff of the red tide. It's just in little pockets. Boy. Look at all them shells down there. Look at all those shells. So far, I'm really happy with what the beach looks like. I've only seen a couple dead fish, a couple dead mullets on the beach. Not piles and piles of dead fish like we had in the summer. You know, that's right now, things can change in almost a blink of an eye out here. Just never know what's lurking out there in the Gulf. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Hard to believe there's red tide here, isn't it? When you look at that view. Another big broken whelk shell on the beach. That might be a keeper. It's got a couple little chips, but you know what the heck. That's a pretty nice little whelk. Pretty nice size little lightning whelk there. Yeah, a couple little chips along the edge. But what the heck. else is 
up here. I haven't seen our birds. Hopefully our birds have gone to better hunting grounds. There have been reports of birds dying and getting sick because of the red tide, which totally makes sense. Ingesting those toxic fish. down to survival. When an animal gets hungry, it eats. Boy, lots of shells all over the place here. I don't know if you can see them all here. Just piles of them all over the beach. There's a big cockle shell. Big cockle shell. There is just tons of shells up here in area four. Look at them all. Holy moly. What all is buried in there? Eh, it'd take days to dig through all these shells up here. There's so many of them. Another nice big cockle over there. Big cockle shell down there. Man. Piles and piles and piles of shells. Nice little sand dollar over here. Nice little sand dollar. Way up on the beach. Put that in my other pocket. Hopefully it won't break. They're so darn fragile, these sand dollars. Listen to the shells crunching under my feet. Oh. Man, oh man. This whole little spit of sand here is just covered with shells. If you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to hit the share button tell your friends about it. There's one lone little seagull over here. It's the only bird I have seen on the beach this morning. Like I said earlier, hopefully the birds have moved on to happier hunting grounds. Where's all your friends there, Mr. Seagull? I always feel sorry for a lone bird when I see a bird all by itself. Beautiful view up to the north there. Up to Benita Beach from Fort Myers. Boy, it is very, very clear this morning. Very, very clear.
my shoes soaked. Darn it. Sorry about that. There's Bonita. Bonita Beach there. Barefoot Beach, sadly. I know two dolphins washed up again over on Barefoot Beach the other day. Sad. As of 5 o'clock yesterday, the Naples Daily News reported 37 dolphins have washed up on the beaches of Lee and Collier. 37. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. So sad. You know, it hurts me to bring those images to you, that dolphin we saw here on the beach yesterday, but it's all about awareness. You gotta see it. Seeing is believing. get the right person angry and maybe things will change but seeing a dead dolphin definitely brings it home at least it brings it home to me that's the worst thing that's the worst sight I've ever seen on our beaches here and I've seen some pretty bad things things on these beaches that I don't even want to share that I don't want to tell people about but it was not as bad as seeing a dead dog it's just things people don't need to know about look at this pile of shells Look at all of these shells. Wow. Absolutely incredible. We've set, we found some beautiful shells already this morning. We had a great morning. We found one area that was just loaded with nice little treasures this morning. You know, a lot of cockles on the beach. A lot of cockle shells. So far, I think the nicest thing that I found this morning, at least my favorite that I found this morning, let's see if I can find it in my pocket here. <laughs> it's getting full. Huh. Found a really nice Murex. I can't get a hold of it. Probably one of the nicest Murex shells I've found here. All I can find is a little one. Hang on a minute. I'm rooting through my pockets here. Found some nice little whelps. Found a couple nice olive shells this morning, worm shells, moon shells. I can't get a hold of that. There it is. That's a pretty nice size little murex shell there. That is a pretty nice murex. Hey Bill. That is a nice little murex. found another one, a little smaller one. Both, I believe, the big one's an apple murex, just kind of losing a little of its color. Two apple murex shells. So we had a nice little morning there shelling earlier. Well, just the way the light was hitting these shells, look at that. I saw a little moon shell looking at me. A little shark eye looking up at me. Oh, it's got a little chip in it. Darn it. A little shark eye. I found a couple nice shark eyes earlier this morning. Well, there's all kinds of shells piled up here. 
Look at this little tiny baby lightning whelk. That's a little tiny lightning whelk, a little tiny baby whelk. Another little baby shell here. Look at this. Look at that. Little baby nautica. Look at that. Little tiny babies. What are the odds of spotting that, huh? Pretty cool. Another whelk down here. That's what that looks like. Oh, that's not too bad. That's got a hole in the back of it. Old lightning whelk. Huh, that's pretty nice though. Found a couple nice little shells there just, just because I stopped. Just because I stopped and took the time to look. Lots of broken moons over here. Broken moon shells. Wow. Very cool. There's plenty of good stuff out here. If you just take the time to look. There's a beautiful little clam shell. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a beautiful little shell. Very cool looking. And rinse the sand off it. That's a nice little shell. Have both halves of it like that. What a gorgeous morning. Park Ranger up there. It's beautiful, beautiful sky as we look around here. Hard to believe that red tide's out here. But it is. Another nice little pile of shells. Wow. Hey, if you enjoy these morning walks, I want you to realize that I don't get paid to come out here and do this. I'm not doing this for some TV station or news network. Southwest Florida Television is just my Facebook page. That's the name of my Facebook page. I come out here, my main purpose is just to keep people informed of the water conditions here in North Naples, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. And the second reason for these beach walks is just to bring people together in these little online conversations that are happening. So feel free to chime in. Just don't talk about politics. Yeah, sorry. Look at you, Tarzan. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy, Bill? Gosh. Tank top? Uh, yeah. Who dressed him? Somewhere. Who dressed you this morning? <laughs> Good. I'm from Colorado, so... Yeah, you're used to it. We're not. <laughs> a tank top and a bathing suit. Not me. I got shoes on for the first time in a long time. Oh yeah, yeah I'm out <laughs> fishing.
And you're out fishing? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am surprised. We haven't had any fish on the beach. I, I, I probably five or six. Oh, like yeah. three in there. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that smells really nice. Yeah, I know. And I, <laughs> it's right here. I got to get this done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, so, so far he's picked up five or six dead fish on the beach. That's five or six too many, but thank God it's not thousands, like over the summertime. Oh, did he miss one over here? Yeah, oh no, that's a shell. Oh, that's a fish. He missed the fish down there. Uh, yeah, this summer the red tide was just unbearable here, as many of you have witnessed through these beach walks. I mean, our beach beaches were deserted for months. No people because of the red tide. Nothing but dead fish on the beach and me with my camera doing the best I could to keep you informed. And I was saying earlier, you know, nobody pays me. A lot of people think that Southwest Florida Television is some TV network. It's not. <laughs> Every once in a while, people send me a little donation. It's really appreciated. If anybody wants to do that, I appreciate it. Just helps pay the phone bill and other little things here to keep me going at the beach. Not asking for tons of money here. And believe me, I'm not making tons of money off of these beach walks. Some people think I'm getting rich off it. Well, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> it's a struggle to survive in Naples. A lot of wealthy people here, but I'm not one of them. I'm just a poor working soul, like many of our friends watching. Just trying to bring a little happiness to everybody's lives in the morning, the best I can. Sometimes it's not all happiness. Sometimes it's sadness, but it's reality. When I'm out here walking the beach, this is reality. This isn't the nonsense that's on regular television on the so-called reality TV shows. <laughs> Whose reality are they? My Lord. Some of these reality TV shows are so far from reality. They're disgusting. They're more of a joke than a reality TV show. Don't you just love getting my opinions while I'm walking on the beach? <laughs> I see another Murex over there. Thought I saw a little, little pear whelk. Yeah, a little pear whelk down here. Little moon, another little moon shell. Let's see what's that? Yep, that's a nice one. Nice little shark eye down here. Nice little shark eye, an old pear whelk. A yeah, little eye, they call it a shark eye or moon shell. Oh, another one. Oh, nice. Oh, that one's busted up. Darn it. Can never have too many moon shells. I love these things. Little Murex. That's our third little Murex. Hang on here. The gimbal's acting cuckoo. There we go. Another nice little apple murex. Got a little tiny hole, but I'm gonna keep it. Little apple murex. We'll probably pick up a couple more shells here. I'm sure we'll find a couple more nice little keepers. Broken moon here. I'm gonna leave that one for somebody else. Here's another nice one. Oh, darn it. Oh, I try to be so careful. 
I'm bending over and just, it always happens. I broke that darn sand dollar that I picked up. You know what? That's going to give me a chance to show you something. If I can get one out. You break open the sand dollars. I'm breaking one open here. You just kind of make sure it's dead. And you crunch them open, crunch them up here. Uh, so there's a chunk of it. Hang on here. Let me get in some light. I'm trying to get the broken pieces out of my pocket. Bear with me one minute here on lollygagging. Man, I see a bunch of little moons all along the beach here. Moon shells. But um, when you break open the sand dollar, see that's what you find these inside. They call them the doves. They look like little doves inside the sand dollar. Isn't that cool? I don't know what they are. But you see how it looks like a little dove? Isn't that cool? Don't go picking up live sand dollars and crushing them to get these out, please. There's plenty of dead sand dollars. Oh my gosh. I'm just looking all around. The more I look here, the more great little things I find. Hang on a second here. I saw a couple Murex shells. Now I lost track of them. Another beautiful little olive. Beautiful little olive. A little Murex. A little Murex there. Another little Murex here. olive shell, two more murex shells. Holy guacamole. Another little moon shell. That one's busted up. I'm going to leave that here for somebody else. The lightning whelk. Nice little lightning whelk. Another nice little, looks like a nice little moon shark eye shell. Put those in my pocket. Got to trace my steps back here. Make sure there's nobody coming on the beach because there's a pile of little, great little shells out here. Lots of little conch shells out here. Here's a piece of a just the tip of an alphabet cone. Beautiful. The alphabet cones, awesome shells. Here's an old moon shell. Well, that one's pretty worn out. Old worn moon shell. Little tulip shell, it looks like. A little tulip here. Piece of a little tulip shell. Oh my goodness. Everywhere I look, beautiful little shells, little beauties. More little moon shells. Two more little moon shells. Another moon shell. What's with all the moon shells? I gotta go up a little higher on the beach and work my way back. Another Murex shell over here. Nice little Murex. Another little worm shell. Nice little wormy. Oh my goodness. Shell paradise right here. Tons of great little things down here. What's up here? Another moon shell. Wow. Moon shells for sale. <laughs> it's a moon shell morning. 
coming out in the cold paid off. What do you think, huh? An old lightning whelk. An old, here's an old Murex over here. This one's kind of worn away. Oh, I gotta straighten up. The old, straighten out the old back here quick. Here's an old, an old Murex you can see inside of it. That's kind of cool. Oh, I'll walk up the beach here a little ways. What else are we gonna find this morning? That was all within 20 feet that I picked up all those shells. All those moon shells and murex shells. Yeah, another 20 feet to go here. What a great little spot. I'm up in area four. Right under Roy's trees. Isn't that a coincidence, huh? There's a little pear whelk. Pear whelks have the opening on the opposite side of the lightning whelks, the pear whelk. Piece of a shark eye. There's an old crown conch, it looks like, sitting here. A really old crown. That's a very, very old crown conch. Very, very old crown conch. Wow. I wasn't going to come up this far this morning. <laughs> I'm glad I did. Some very, very nice little souvenirs this morning. And I'm sure I missed a lot of them. It's very easy to miss things. I'm not walking out into the water. There's an old Murex shell down here by the edge of the water. That's an old Murex there, it's lost all its color. Still in good shape though, just no color. Wow. That was fun. There's still some more ahead of me. Huh. What a great morning. Much. Nicer than yesterday morning, isn't it? Thank goodness. There's another little Apple Murex out here. Little Apple Murex. There's another one down there. Looks like it might be. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, that's a nice one. Two more beautiful little Murex shells. Can't believe all the great little shells we have found in this one little section of beach. Just amazing. Like I say, every beach walk, every morning is different. We never know what we're gonna find. Something different every time we come out here. No pun intended, but the tide turns every day. Incredible. I still have a little further, a little ways to go, a little further up the beach here.
still might be something else. Might be one or two shells left here for me. <laughs> if I don't see them for somebody else. Sorry if I hogged all the shells off the beach this morning. But we did great this morning. As far as moon shells and murex shells, absolutely incredible. They're starting to thin out now. One more. <laughs> you just never know. There's an old broken moon shell right down there. Broken moon right there. I wonder why all those shells were piled up right in that little area. It's the way the current swirled around there, I guess. Hey, let's be sure to keep Roy in our thoughts and prayers today while he's waiting to get the results back from his test. He's in the hospital right now. 93 year old beach buddy and good friend Roy. He's in good spirits. He was dehydrated. He's got some kind of infection going on. Low blood pressure. Gave him some fluids last night. Pumped him full of antibiotics. Waiting for the results of some tests. So I'll keep you updated on that. But in the meantime, if you want to say a little prayer for him, go ahead. Our good friend Roy. I'm so looking forward to the day that he returns to the beach with us. It is always the highlight of the end of my beach walk in the morning. Huge difference between yesterday and today. Horrible yesterday seeing that poor dead dolphin. As of five o'clock yesterday, 37 dolphins have washed up on the beaches of Lee and Collier County, waiting for the results of the test to find out what the exact cause of death was. A lot of people are saying red tide. Who knows? Hopefully there's not something worse out there. It's just very odd that it affected the dolphins all of a sudden. We are under a red tide warning. But we have not seen any dead fish on the beach. There's maybe half a dozen dead fish on the beach. It's very unusual to not see more dead fish. I'm not complaining by any means, believe me. Pick up a cockle shell here on the beach with a nice hole in it. You know what that means. We're going to just walk up the beach a little further and hanging on one of the shell trees here. Sadly, we've lost a lot of our shell trees with Hurricane Irma. There's new ones starting up here. People are hanging shells anywhere they can find a branch. Morning. 
morning. How are you? Good, yourself. Great. Right you too. Starting to warm up finally. It was chilly for me when I came out here. 50 this morning. Breezy. That's cold for Floridians. Stop laughing. You know what? Here's a nice tree right here. We're gonna start another shell tree right here. Here's a nice branch right up here. I'm gonna hang that shell up there. And that shell right there, that cockle shell, that's for my friend Roy, our friend Roy. Let's say some prayers for him. And it's also for all you guys out here that can't hang a shell. When you see the shells hanging on the trees at the beach, there's a couple reasons why people hang them. People hang them to make a wish and, they, and make a wish. Sometimes they say a prayer. Sometimes they just hang it as a decoration. But then also they hang it in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So I'm hanging that for Roy, praying that the results of his test today are positive. You guys, that shell's for you for whatever reason. Also, Just for the people, but also the poor animals that are suffering in our waters down here in Southwest Florida. Let's not forget about them. With lots of fighting conks and other early this morning I found a huge piece of worm rock in the beginning of our beach walk there's another nice big piece of worm rock down there very interesting stuff that worm rock very cool I think it's time to turn around and head back down the beach. It's starting to get warm. Whew. See if we missed anything on the walk back. My pocket is full of shells. We had a great morning shelling this morning. A great morning. I can't believe how many moon shells I found. Moon shells and lace murex shells. Lace murex and apple murex. If you enjoy these beach walks, please tell your friends, hit the share button. They're not for everybody. Some people don't enjoy the, the walks and that's their prerogative. Do introduce yourself to everybody in the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Let them know what the temperature is, where you're at. It's probably not as nice as it is here in Southwest Florida. what the temperature is now. It started out at 50. It's really warming up nicely. Beautiful looking out there into the Gulf. Just hard to believe the red tide's here. But it is. Still dealing with that ugly red tide. Just 
gorgeous views though. Gorgeous views. The tide is slowly moving out, still going out. A couple weeks ago, see that big pine tree up there? A couple weeks ago we saw a bald eagle sitting up there. That was a pretty neat sight. We haven't seen many birds out here today. Not many birds at all. One seagull, as a matter of fact, I haven't seen any ospreys. I'm just hoping all the birds have moved on to better hunting grounds where the fish aren't toxic from the red tide. It's sad how that red tide affects everything, even the birds. Find anything good this morning? It looks like, I thought you are gonna do good. It seemed like there was a lot of stuff on the beach. There was, I mean, it wasn't. That's better than nothing. That's, yeah. a, that's a nice one there, that one on the left. That, that's a snaggle tooth right a here. A snaggle tooth? That's a, yeah, you don't. That's pretty cool. Tiger. Really? Yeah. Not a very big tiger, but a tiger. Wow. One of these days I'm gonna find one. <laughs> one of these days. You will. I won't know what to do with it. <laughs> See you later. There you go. <laughs> I never find any shark's teeth on the beach. And they're, as you can see, they're out here. I just never find them. find all the shells, but not the shark's teeth. Go figure. This is where we found all of those great shells this morning. Just tons. Found murex after murex. These little murex shells. Found bunches of them. Here we found moon shells. Oh. Everywhere I looked, I saw a moon shell. A lot of broken ones, but I got quite a few nice little moon shells from down here. And I'm sure I walked right past a lot of them. You know what? <laughs> I see one I missed right there. Right down there. Easy to understand why I missed it. Look how tiny it is. Just amazing. Just the more time you spend looking, the more you're gonna find down here. I say that all the time, and it is so, so true. Some really cool worm shells out here too, right in this area. Ugh. Some really neat little, oh, come on there. Gimbal, hang on. Gimbal's gotta be reset. There it goes. Some really cool little worm shells down here. Those are always fun to pick up. Add to your little collection. Ha, huh, there's a murex that I missed. Whoops. Another little apple murex. And I spent a lot of time here. Oh, 15 minutes ago in this spot. Huh. Amazing. There's another murex right next to it that I didn't even see. I picked up the one. Yeah, it's a piece of one. Still a little murex though. Just unbelievable.
A lot of broken moon shells down there. Some of the shells we found this morning were really, really, really small. Oh, did I miss anything out here? Funny how the as the light changes, as the sun comes up higher, the shadows change and you just see more and more things out here. Just amazing. My pocket is full. I'm gonna be spilling shells out as I walk along the beach instead of picking them up. There's an old moon shell. Oh, how did I miss that? How did I miss that tulip shell? Can you believe I walked by that? Look at that beautiful tulip. Wow. Wait till I get some light on that. That's gorgeous. How did I miss that? Lots of little fighting conks down here. Piles of little fighting conks. These little baby fighting conch shells. Lots and lots of them. Another little shark eye down here. Another little moon shell. I don't know how many that makes for this morning. Crazy amount crazy amount this morning of these little shark eyes. Roy's pine trees here, area four. One of these days he'll be back here with me with his harmonica. We'll be having a good old time under the pines. An incredible morning but look at this tulip look at that tulip beautiful beautiful tulip shell I can't believe I walked by that earlier this morning thank goodness I stopped and took my time walking back that has got some absolutely incredible beautiful colors on it that's going on the top shelf of my collection for sure that is a beautiful shell. Hey, as many of you know, I don't get paid to do these beach walks. I'm not working for anybody out here. I enjoy doing it. I love sharing what I do know, what little bit I do know about things I find on the beach here with everybody. But if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it always helps out. Just pay the phone bill and other little incidental things. You can find a link to my PayPal account right here in the description of this post. Like I said, every little bit helps. I'm not asking for thousands of dollars here. Anybody that's sent something, thank you so much. Just hang on, I'm gonna 
gonna snap a quick photo off there. Love getting some of the morning views to share later. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. Slowly making my way back to our starting point here this morning. Just started down in area one. Had a nice little walk up here this morning. We do, we do have the red tide warning in effect. But thankfully, I am not smelling it here. I'm not smelling any of that horrible odor of the red tide. We really haven't seen any dead fish on the beach, maybe a handful. I guess that's a good sign. Thankfully, we didn't see any dolphins on the beach. I don't think we're going to be seeing any dolphins swimming by for a while. Sad. It's very sad. We have had some wonderful dolphin encounters out here in the mornings, but unfortunately, I think those mornings have come to an end for a while. Just pray that those dolphin fatalities end. It's unbearable seeing those poor creatures washed up dead on our beaches. The dolphins and the manatees. Beautiful looking out there into the Gulf. It's hard to believe that red tide's lurking out there. There's a seagull, a couple. A seagull just flew overhead and there's one just up there ahead of me on the beach. One lone seagull. Gorgeous.
Beautiful as we look down to the south. Getting some smell of the red tide here, unfortunately. Getting a whiff of it back here. Ooh. Pretty odiferous. Beautiful as we look around. I'm gonna record a little standalone video here for a minute. So just stand by, be right back here. Don't go anywhere. Still here? Yep, we're still here. All right. Just gorgeous. What an incredible view out here this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of pelicans flying overhead. Let me see if I if we can see this here. I'm gonna look up, tilt up into the sky here. Our moon is up there. I don't know if you can see it. A little white dot up there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, you can see that moon there. It's left of the moon, half a moon. can say about this morning is wow what a difference from yesterday yesterday was a the most horrible beach walk ever 
Let's hope we never have to encounter a situation like that again. Huh. Let's hope people pay attention to the lesson. Found some great shells out here this morning. Just amazing. Found some beautiful lace murex shells and or not lace, apple murex shells. A pocket full of moon shells. I found a beautiful tulip. It's the nicest looking tulip shell I found out here. Give you a look at that. It's not perfect, but it's got some great colors on it. Beautiful tulip shell. The tip of it's broke off. That doesn't quite have the whole tip on the bottom there. It's beautiful colors though. Beautiful tulip. We found all the shells this morning just because I stopped and spent some time. Spent some time looking in like little piles like this. The longer you look, the more you're gonna see. This is all tons of worm shells down here. Tons and tons of worm shells. You see the worm shell right down there? kinds of neat stuff this morning. All kinds of great stuff. All because I followed the basic rules of shelling. Take your time. Take your time, don't rush. This is something I picked up earlier and showed everybody. It was really cool. It's an old moon shell. Just all pitted and worn out. A really old moon shell. You can barely see the eye there. Pretty cool though. Neat textures. We saw that earlier on our walk up the beach. How are you doing? Great. Well, we had a good long walk this morning, but you know what? It was nice. It was a nice change of pace from yesterday. I hope you appreciate it. If you do enjoy these walks, be sure to tell your friends about them. Hit the share button. Share my page. Share Southwest Florida Television on your page. If you like it. Hey, it's not always happiness and sunshine when we're out here. I bring you the good and the bad. That's the idea, is to inform and educate about what's happening on our beaches here in Southwest Florida. Looks beautiful out here today, doesn't it? One of our beach friends up here, Mr. Gary. I didn't know you were down here today. Oh yeah, I got out here early. When it was nice and cold. Yeah, it's still 49 right now. 
No, it's beautiful now. Must be up to 80. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Yeah, you look like you're ready for Alaska. Oh, man, I'm freezing. Uh, <laughs> Did you see the little rip current that was forming? Isn't that something? There? All these little currents, all yeah. these sandbars out there. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Oh, sad day yesterday out here. Sad, yeah. sad, seeing that poor dolphin. It was oh, just, that was yesterday? I it was, uh, it was just right over there. Shoot, yep, that yep. Was, I was here yesterday. Oh, I was here later, though. Yeah. Well, they left it here for quite a while before they came and picked it, it up. It looked like it had been dead for a long time, though. Yeah, it had yeah. been dead for a while. That's what's happening. They're dying out in the deeper water and yeah. washing in. It's sad. Well, they were out here today, the little pot of dolphins. You saw by. dolphins swimming by out yep, there? Yeah, right, right here by the buoy. They were chasing, and the fish are back. So I, I hope to know. God they don't die. Well, I don't think the red tide's here, is it? I don't notice the smell or anything. No, but it's here. It's very odd. Only five, only saw half a dozen dead fish on the beach. Oh, okay. But they say it's here. It's definitely offshore. Yeah. But you wouldn't know it. Say, so your blanket? Yeah. Good morning. Nice, you're all bundled up. <laughs> hey. Hey. Things, huh? It's the best. I don't have to go to the beach all the time. There you go. <laughs> all right, Gary, I got to get rolling. It's getting Easy late. Hi, how are you doing? You just getting back? Fine. You getting back well, to town? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I've been here. You know me. Yeah. I'm, I do, I used to walk on the beach all the time. Yeah. I haven't problem. seen you. Oh. Well, medical problems have kept me off. Oh, okay. And I just came today, and this is not, this is not the beach I know. It's a lot different. I mean, I look down here, they must have lost 10, 15 it's, feet it's of crazy, sand. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it crazy, the erosion? It's unbelievable. A big change. I, all these people that are going to be coming down over the next couple of months are going to be have quite a surprise when they oh, hit the yeah. beach. Oh yeah. I just it, it just is unbelievable what mother nature can do to Isn't you. Isn't it? Uh, this is every I day it's a little different out here. Every I I day. I am I'm not sure about uh, climate, but I know climate is not necessarily man's doing. It's the climate is going to be climate no matter what. There you go. And God's going to come down and tell us what we're going to do and what we're not going to do. That's we haven't listened, is. that's for sure. We no, definitely, no. we screwed it up pretty darn well. Yeah, we did a bad job in a lot of, <laughs> look at California, all those fires. Yep, isn't that sad? Because they went in there and said you can't clean out the, the, the fields. You know, I mean, what are they doing? They're leaving it all there for something. But that's not up to me to decide. Right, right. But I'm we so all... happy to be here, and thank you for doing this. Hey, it was a sad day yesterday out here. Oh, oh I heard, we yeah. The, we had a dolphin up here. Yeah. One of our neighbors walks, and she said she saw two on the beach. Yeah, there was two down south of here. A couple I, more up to the 37. I know. Since November 21st. It's it's the thing that the dolphins are there, but the thing that that underlying I think that a lot of people don't understand is the dolphins feed on the on the exactly. lesser fish, and if the dolphins are affected, imagine the lesser fish, which their food. And if you're killing the ones that are a good size, you're killing off a reproductive cycle that will take years to come back. Yeah. Well. Crazy, isn't it? We can't do anything. We've got to nope. look and just let... Never too late, though, to start making no, a difference, to change no. your ways. My son-in-law, my son-in-law donated uh, a good deal of money to the Red Tide research through FGCU. Oh, very good. And I, that's been years ago, and I don't know what ever came of it because I never spoke to him about it. But uh, they need something like that. But it's it, a lot of it comes from the, 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 the regular person who hasn't got the common sense sometimes to realize that that little piece of paper they threw down is causing a exactly. problem. Exactly. Exactly. And we have to learn to be a little bit more careful of our, that's right. our scraps. That's right. Be better stewards. Dirt. Yep. Yep. Okay, my friend, thank hey, you for the uh, time quick, to talk. Quick update. Uh, Roy, is, he's back in the hospital. Oh. He's got a, a little infection they don't know where yet. They're checking him out. They got him on antibiotics, and but it's he's slowly recovering from that. Uh, is he in HC over here on uh, Immokalee? Uh, yeah, he's on, yep. Do you know what room, room he's in? Room 4146. 4146. I'll have to go in and see if I can find him. There you go. Okay. Lift Thank his spirits. You. Thank you for the All help. Right. All yes, righty. Sir. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Gary, have a great day. Salute. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> uh, you brought your own truck today, huh? Oh, yeah. oh, great people out here at Del Norwegans. Wonderful people. So many willing to stop and talk. 
as one of our, our volunteers there. But as you heard in the beginning of our conversation, he had some medical issues. I was wondering where he went. Hadn't seen him out here. Great guy, veteran. You could tell by his cap, another veteran. Love our veterans. Love our volunteers here at the park. Anybody that's looking for something to do, has got some spare time, consider volunteering at one of the many Florida State Parks, not just here at Del Nor Wiggins, any Florida State Park. They are so understaffed and under budgeted. It seems they're one of our most precious resources in Florida, our state parks. When it comes to funding, they're at the bottom of the barrel. Now, if you were listening to my conversation with our friend Gary, he said he saw a pod of dolphins swim by this morning. That is extremely encouraging. I pray to God that they don't die. I really think these dolphins that we've been seeing on the beach have died further out in the Gulf and washed up onto our beaches. But Gary said he saw a pod of dolphins swimming by this morning. That's really, really good ears. That's good news. It's music to my ears. Can only hope and pray that the dolphins are going to survive. We have had so many good times watching dolphins here at the beach. Seen that poor creature on the beach yesterday. It's gut wrenching. Gut wrenching. People need to be made aware of what's happening here, what's happening to our, our oceans, our Gulf of Mexico here. Got to be a little more conscious of what we throw down, what we pour down the drain, throw out in our garbage, spray onto our yards. It's all up to us. We have done a good job so far of screwing up this planet. Now we need to do a better job of fixing it. You want to come out and enjoy views like this, we need to make some serious changes in our lifestyles. Easier said than done, that's for darn sure. Look at that blue, beautiful blue sky. It's amazing. Well, I wanna thank everybody for joining me this morning. A much more pleasant walk than yesterday. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. Southwest Florida Television is not a big TV station. It's simply a name of a Facebook page. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always, always welcome. Highly appreciated. It helps out a lot. I'm not one of those multi-billionaires that live in Naples. I'm just a working guy like everybody watching. I'm trying to make a buck. <laughs> I'm trying to bring a little joy to people's lives. Thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.